Welcome everyone to my kitchen. My name's Tammy and today I'm going to show you how to make tangy pork chops for a family of four for roughly six dollars. We're going to also have some rice and veggies with it and carrots. So the first thing we're going to do is pour about two teaspoons of vegetable oil or canola oil in the skillet. We're going to let that warm up to about medium heat. While that's heating up a little bit, I'm just going to throw some pepper and salt on these chops. You can use any boneless pork chop that's on sale. Whatever, um, whatever's on sale, just get that. So our skillet's heated up. We're going to place our pork chops in here. We're going to cook these for about six to eight minutes. Um, turning them halfway, halfway through the cooking time, we'll turn them over until they're slightly brown. Okay, so while the pork chops are cooking, have a sip of wine, or maybe two. And while those are still browning, I'll show you what we did with the rice. Um, this was just plain white rice. I took half of a carrot that I had left over in the fridge. I had a couple of green onions, a fourth of a yellow squash, chopped up some garlic. Any vegetables you have in the house that are about to go bad, you could toss in here. You could do red onion, bell pepper, red bell pepper, broccoli, anything. And so I just put it in with the rice and I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter, maybe like a, a tablespoon. And I'm just gonna let that butter melt into there and heat that up over about medium while the chop, chops are cooking. So these have been cooking for about three minutes. I'm gonna turn them over. You can tell I'm not a professional chef here, but the food will taste good. Okay, so the chops are finishing up right here. Um, I just came over here to look at my rice and realized that it's a little dry looking. I'm experimenting with this. So I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken broth because it, it is, it's uh, looking dry. I'm feeling a little dry. <laughs> this will help. Okay. So we're gonna let this heat. I'm gonna turn the temperature down to low now. Just kind of let it heat up. Chops are done. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull these babies out. And add in, this is one onion that I cut in half and then just sliced really thin. So we're gonna let that cook for a second while that's happening. I wanna cover these pork chops up, keep them warm. Oh, those onions smell good. Anything with onions and garlic, good. So we want to just kind of sweat these onions, let them get a little brown. If it seems like there's not enough oil in here, you can always add just a little bit more vegetable oil or your canola oil. Look, he's going to come. These are our deer. We usually have foxes come. Oh, okay. I try to teach them what's weeds and what are plants and they still don't understand. Okay, so these onions have been cooking about three minutes. They're almost done, but in the meantime, remember, this is a meal for four for roughly six dollars. Just want to show you my outfit because that's what this entire website's about. My skirt, two dollars at a garage sale. My sweater, a dollar ninety-nine at ARC. My belt, which is fabulous, seventy-nine cents at ARC. Um, I don't remember where we got these boots. We got them in California this past year. They were like $90 boots that were on clearance for $19.99. <laughs> so, I mean, without the boots, the skirt, the belt, and the sweater, a $5 outfit. So, that's what this website's about. <laughs> okay, so. The onions are done. 
We're just going to kind of push them to the side here and then to the skillet we're going to add a fourth a cup of orange juice. Whoa! We're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar and I'm going to start with about an eighth of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I might end up adding a little bit more. I have not made this before, so we're experimenting. Whisk that really good. Mmm. Oh, you know what? You want to remove it from the heat. <laughs> you want to remove it from the heat before you put the orange juice and the brown sugar and the mustard in. So, that's going to be a little bit glazed. Again, I'm no expert. I just know how to cook good food and I haven't gotten used to cooking and talking to a camera quite yet. So now I'm going to add in about, oh, a tablespoon of butter. Whisk this in. Okay, so we're ready to plate. Now, this is an experiment. I, I want this dish to look special, even though it just costs $6. And I don't know if this is going to work, so we'll see. So just kind of turn this upside down. <laughs> Doesn't that look beautiful? Probably you could use a half a cup instead of a full cup. That's, uh, that's kind of tall for a presentation. And then let's take one of our chops, pour some of the onions over here, over the chop. You can drizzle a little bit of the sauce around. Oh my God, it looks professional, doesn't it? Some steamed carrots. You call the family to dinner, you have this there and they're like, is company coming? No, it's just for you. And it costs $6 for a family of four. Okay, so let's see how this tastes. I can't post any uh, recipe without tasting it. Mmm, it's really good. It's kind of got a, um, it's sweet but tangy at the same time. And again, six dollars for a family of four, not bad. Oh, <laughs> how quickly it emptied. <laughs> okay, so every week we're gonna feature a recipe for a family of four for ten dollars or less. It's gonna be an experiment, but I think it'll be fun. And if I make any mistakes, you'll be the first to know. Cheers. Look at her.